You are now entering the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends. To Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 33. Was that professional? That was interesting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it was good. I, I did I a just, good job. I was ready for like a hey, and I got Hi. like, felt like I was on a news show. And I'm Neil C. Since <laughs> apparently no one's going to ask who I am. And you are? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Threw me off so my game. <laughs> welcome to our musical podcast. We are going to sing this whole podcast. Nope. Yes. <laughs> We agreed on it. No, we didn't. We did. We totally no. discussed it. We no. spent the last three days writing everything in lyric form. Nope. So everything rhymes. You just need nickel. What? <laughs> you need nickel from Graphic Novice to come on here. <laughs> to sing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but as long as it's not on a Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> he was asking you know, on their on the Graphic Novice podcast, which part of the Musings of a Geek podcast network, I would suggest checking it out if you're into comic books or just good stories or good podcasts. <laughs> graphic novice the, uh, we had them as guests a few podcasts ago mm-hmm. and then afterwards we did the four-hour epic with grant right and on the graphic novice podcast nickel asked what we we weren't on for four hours what were we not like <laughs> i forget exactly what he said but you know like what's the deal and i was gonna say well have us on at a time where we can have a few beverages and, and kind of go on into the yeah. evening <laughs> Or have us on. He was on ours. But, you know, we were working around their schedule because we typically do Saturday afternoon. And uh, so, yeah, so that's it. Yeah, you guys are welcome we, back anytime. we did that anytime. one at 8 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, we're like, we can what? do. You guys are welcome back anytime. <laughs> Love to have you. And uh, But this time it's an evening. It can be any evening. You guys pick the evening. Right. Well, no, it can't be. It's got to be either a uh, Friday or Saturday evening. Maybe a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Actually, was, there isn't much. There isn't a lot of good times. <laughs> I digress. So pretty much Saturday evening works for us the best. Right. So just so make it happen. Note that somewhere. <laughs> make it happen. Ooh, How are you there? I am good. Halloween I'm a pants. Tired. Halloween. And was you have no pants on. Good. I do too have pants on. You have pants on. Is that recording? We're doing I hope good? so. I just pointed it's at it. It's blinking at us. Okay, good. It's not recording. There'll be no video this week. Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, yes, it's Halloween weekend. Yes. Halloween yeah. weekend and turn the clocks back weekend, unless you're in Arizona Very or busy. other parts of the world. Right. Um, um, we did our usual leave a bucket of candy out on the front porch. And of course it was all gone when we got home and, uh, there was, there was candy spewed around the porch and I'm not really sure what happened. There must've been a candy, a candy fight uh, or, or a candy hoedown. <laughs> if you will, if you will, something <laughs> there was uh, one purple feather from what looked like a purple boa. Is that the name of yeah. those things? A boa. Mm-hmm. And then there was uh, we kind of cheaped out on the candy this year because I totally forgot to buy any. So it was last minute. I actually, either bought it Friday morning. Well, right, and we're not even home, so yeah, we weren't going to be home this fairly year. Fairly convinced we only get five trick or treaters, and they pretty much take the entire bucket. So right, we weren't going to be home, but we I just felt like concerned to be cool quality. in the neighborhood <laughs> and not get egg. We put something right. out. For the little kids. I did notice that a lot of them don't, though. Like, we're not, by any means, the only people on the street that aren't no. home or don't. But for a few bucks, I'm like, yeah. what the heck? So, yeah, so we did the... But it was funny, because last year when we did it, mm-hmm. I guess people thought we weren't home, and that's why we did it. But we were home. It's just mm-hmm. that it's a pain in the neck with two dogs barking anytime. Right. We don't really want you to knock on the door unless right. your intention is to knock on the door. And even if you're, <laughs> if we know you, we don't want you to knock on the door, Right. actually. Um, just don't come over. Yeah, just don't, don't bother. <laughs> no, uh, that's not true. No, not at all. But um, 
but it was funny because I'd peek out and watch and it was the moms of the kids would keep in the neighborhood would keep coming back and taking handfuls of our candy. Oh, really? Yeah. And I don't know. Well, we talked about it a little bit last year and I don't know if they were taking it back to their house to give out or they just really. Yeah. But there's there's one lady who lives. I'm not going to say who, but she lives on our street that Mm -hmm. came back like three or four times and just took hands, handfuls of our candy. This was last year. Not this because we weren't around this year. I did see the. This year we were rocking like stars. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, you. we're not hanging out in bars. We went to a party at a museum. Was it a museum? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. It was <laughs> not. <laughs> no. And no, was it? Yeah. I was like, I don't remember. But it was built. It had a museum, an interactive museum in it when the Mondavis built it. It no longer does right. now. Yeah, it used to be something else, and now it's closed down, and now it's like for hire. It's a huge modern building that's really for awesome. <laughs> do you, do should we talk about the Halloween? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say real quick that um, you have to sing it. No, um, just a little bit. When I was just one uh, line, the first uh, trick or treater that we got was the apparently you don't take podcasting seriously. That uh, he and his uh, family live like th- I think it's two doors down, three doors down. The band and no. Oh. Um, and his mom brought him over, and he was dressed as Mickey Mouse, and I didn't realize I hadn't seen her in a while and she's pregnant she's very pregnant and i was like oh wow she's very pregnant <laughs> Someone's i didn't realize been getting it all <laughs> yeah i didn't realize how long it'd been since i seen her until a lot I realized of candy she in the bowl pregnant. <laughs> a lot of candy in the bowl but um she started walking up to you know the front door and the windows open and so i'm like watching the little kid and then she kind of looks up and she sees me and just for like a split second she's like oh and then i smile and i wave and she smiled and wave and she's like oh okay i get it <laughs> and uh and then she's like go ahead like go ahead but uh, and then we saw them again when we were leaving. But uh, it right. was just really funny because when she saw me, she was just like, "Okay, there's somebody in the window." I think she maybe thought it was like a Halloween decoration or something. Right. But, and, right. I, and I smiled and waved, and she smiled and waved back. But I think I scared her a tad. <laughs> yeah, I think some people don't come out because of all our beware of dog signs and right. people in the neighborhood that know probably right. are like, oh, "I don't want to make those dogs bark." Right. At me. And she actually, um, they walk around the block sometimes on the weekends because their kids like three and like whatever. they own the place. I know. God, Jesus. But um, so. And um, they, uh, with our cat, she's always, uh, he, he wants to play with the cat, but the cat's not having any part of it. So they'll stand on the sidewalk and point at the cat that's laying on our front porch. Our cat. Yeah. Chubbs. Yeah. Yeah. And. He's uh, got a name. Yeah. Yeah. Just cat. I'm like, <laughs> Just the cat. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I can see them like talking about the cat and he keeps pointing at the cat like he wants to come over to the cat. And she's like, no, no, no. Just wave to the cat or whatever. It's <laughs> wave funny. to the cat. Yeah. No way back. No, no, like basically don't go up to these people's house and like try to. You know, manhandle their cat, which is I appreciate. Speaking so. of cats, we have McElroy Von sexy pants on our table, wearing a nice hat today. Lord Sissy Whiskers Von Freaky Eyes. That's what I said. Yep, <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Mackle Jack Ode Von Pissy Philip. Pants. Oh, to Philip. Woo. Uh, yeah. So, um, so party. We went to a Halloween. Oh, party I was going to go back to our Chubbs, Mister Cat. That oh, yeah. Had to go to the vet. Yeah, Chubbs went to the vet. Well, he came back. <laughs> you made it sound yeah. like he went and he didn't make it back. <laughs> Although he is on borrowed time. So what? one day he'll go and not come back. But yeah, he was. Uh, he's an awesome guy. He's, uh, he has some sexually transmitted disease in he his mouth. He does not. That's what you told me. No. You said he might have kitty aids. You didn't say that? I said he might, but she doesn't think that's it. You walked in and went, dent, 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 dent. Kitty might have kitty aids. And I was like, what? And you're like, hell yeah. He's been sticking everything in his mouth. And now he's got kitty yet. And I was like, what? You didn't tell me. And you said, I'm how, telling how you now. How a musical episode? When we talked that about no, it. No, we did not. <laughs> so we don't know if he has AIDS. She thinks it's We're just gonna do a cat version of rent. an infection of some sort. And she put on antibiotics and pain medication because he's having trouble eating. And he's already responding, so that's a really good sign. So he probably does not have kitty aids. No, and so. not and not to poke fun at the cat, but because he does have these, this thing going on in his mouth, he was drooling like crazy. <laughs> and so now that he's on, or I guess it was more last night, when he's on the pain medication, he had like the total drunk eyes. His yeah. tongue was halfway out of the mouth of his mouth, and he had this one little drool <laughs> drop from his chin. He was chin. total drunk and kitty. And he was, oh, it was awesome. Kitty. We yeah. should have taken a picture of that. It's like the yeah. 
like drunk zero when I posted yeah. that picture of him. He's like, hell yeah. It was pretty sad. I, I actually was going to take a picture, but then I actually felt bad because I'm like, he feels like crap and he's medicated and I'd be like, oh. And yeah, he knows when he's having his picture taken. I know, but I feel bad. I know it. So anyway. Well, there it is. So hopefully he's on the mend because that'd be terrible and expensive. So, Or just Oof. terrible. And terrible. Uh, so Halloween party. Let's get it to our yeah, party. we went out to You were a weenie. I was a hot dog. <laughs> you were a hot dog. It was a big hit. It was. I uh, had many, many people stop me, and um, I and I would just like at one point I was walking to the bathroom, and some guys like your costume rocks. I was like, thanks. <laughs> that reminds me. I I told uh, so it was me and you, and we went with Jason. Jason, right? And we bars. posted a picture of that too. He went as a barfly, and which was a great. That was costume. really hilarious. He yeah. did that really well, and he made that. Yeah. So he made it. Yeah, it was really awesome. And like how the his his dual hands are so funny because uh, there were you know uh, there were yeah, surprises sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you got a surprise hand. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And as as the beer kept flowing and he got a little more sloppy, those hands were flying everywhere. <laughs> it was kind of funny. It was a good time. Yeah, it was really fun. So it was yeah. I went as Frank the Bunny from mm-hmm. Donnie Darko, and I was the only Frank the Bunny. Right, and, and I, the that's funny thing, I was sorry. And the funny thing was that I ran into the only Donnie Darko at the party, which was kind of fun. Right, and I didn't put that together until I saw you guys together. I was like, "Oh, right, yeah. right." But I mean, if I had just saw him without you, right. I wouldn't have remembered that. He was fairly drunk. It was funny because I asked. He was him, really drunk. <laughs> I asked him what the numbers were for the Donnie Darko. You know, because right. the, the set of numbers in the movie are very right. important. And he's like, no, I don't know. So I found him later, and I told him the numbers, and he thought I was giving him my phone number. And I'm like, no, dumbass, that's the numbers from the movie. He was putting the numbers in his phone, like he was like I wanted his to like give we're him gonna my hang number. out, yeah. Like and I'm like, no. we're dating. <laughs> no, and he's like, are... why are you busting my balls? Yeah, he's like, why are you busting my balls, Hans? Don't bust my balls, Hans. Yeah, it was it good. Was, he was drunk and funny. It was good. It was a good time. Some cool costumes. That big. Grim Reaper death spider thing. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It was good. I, I just described picture, I took, it really well. So right. People will actually, really that know is right. What's going on. <laughs> I'll, I have a picture of it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, it's I, good for a podcast. Can you, right, can you show I, it? I will now? post it. I will oh, post it. Damn it. On our. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to. No, I was, oh. <laughs> I was playing. Uh, on See, our... I believe you when you're like, hey, what about this? I'm like, is it? And Instagram. Like, no. I, will, I will post it on the Instagram. Check out our Insta penis. Wow. Um, I had two favorites of the night, and they both were couples. And I love it when couples do costumes together because I think that's actually harder because then you both have to not only agree, but you got to pull it off. So um, the two really good ones I thought was the Mad Hatter and the Queen of Hearts, and both completely like custom and decked out and really good. Really right. Good. And then the other ones were the um, the turn of the century um, costumes, like Marie Antoinette style, but as ghosts. So their costumes were on point for the time period, but as ghosts. So they were all Everything white. Everything was white. Yeah. Everything was white. And his top hat was white. Like, you know, and all like even her jewelry was white. I mean, it was really cool. Um, we It reminded me earlier when you said uh, you were leaving the bathroom and someone was like, hey, great costume. Right. Uh, there was one time I was leaving the bathroom. My costume was a full body costume. So it had to be zipped up and down from the mm-hmm, back. Mm-hmm. And I was leaving the restroom and there was this this couple. It was a guy and I forget how she was dressed, but she had like some form tight top on that she needed to have her boob situated in right so nothing went crazy. <laughs> and I think he was a cowboy or a sheriff or something. And so I walk out of the bathroom and he's like helping her rearrange her boobs and getting everything set and how to zip up her thing. And they're like very intent, like, you know, oh my God, something's wrong with my costume. Help me fix it. Right. So, so I walk off in the corner by the bathroom is trying to fix it. Yeah, so I walk right. by and I stop and I look at him and I said, Hey, I'm really sorry to bother you, but when you're done, can you help me out? And the guy looked at me like I was nuts and he's like, Yeah, all right. He had no idea what I was talking about. Right. He so didn't he notice, keeps going right. with his whatever he was doing, which took about another minute. When you're standing there, a minute is a long right, time. Right, when some, a stranger staring at you. <laughs> so finally he finishes and he looks at me and he's like, what? And I'm like, I'm really sorry, but do you mind zipping me up? And because he just got done zipping her up. And so they both started laughing. He's like, oh, my God, that's amazing. And I'm like, thanks. And left. So right. it was fun. It was Since good. you're there and you're zipping up people. <laughs> I will say that the crowd seemed very... Um, like nice to each other. There wasn't a yeah. lot of like drunk there was idiots. No fighting. Even on the dance floor, I never floor. saw any like arguments. There was no aggression. Or, yeah, yeah. I everyone mean, people were like, there were some chill. people that were super hammered. Yeah, um, and people running into people. But everyone, like, if you got bumped, people would be like, "Oh my god, sorry, yeah. excuse me." Uh, so it was a really good time. Looking forward to hopefully doing it again next year. 
Yeah, they had a couple really good bands. and uh, They did. And very yeah. different bands. They had yeah. an oh, Amish baby machine would be very happy with the, the guys who went as an Amish band. Yeah, they were all, and they yeah. all were in the exact same outfit. And so great. it actually like took you a minute to realize that, I mean, obviously they're not the same person, but if you saw one walking by, you couldn't tell them apart until they were all standing next to each right. other. Right, it was really cool. <laughs> it was good. Um, uh, Jason told me that that's a family. It's a dad and his two sons. Oh, okay, cool. So I was like, oh. oh. that's funny because in the bathroom there was some drunk guy who went up to one of the guys and he was like, you guys totally rock and you could tell like the guy was like oh cool but you know we were just we we're just playing music it's not right. you know and uh he's like yeah and he's like that other guy who was playing guitar or whatever it was and he goes oh that's my brother so oh. now it makes sense okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. i thought maybe he was just trying to keep together with the amish thing but now that you oh, say as that my brother i don't brother know. brother from the, you know <laughs> another, another mother, plumber yeah. who knows Oosh. um i really liked the kind of rockabilly ish band that we saw at the beginning called hair club for men yeah, they were. I thought I thought they were a little more bluesy than rockabilly. Um, myself. they did both. I think. I think that they they only got to do like five songs. Or guitar, something, percussion, so. and singer. That was it. Yeah. No bass. No. And what was interesting is the guitar player played straight through the PA with pedals. He had no yeah. amp of his own, which was crazy talk. <laughs> like, what is going on? The guitar player is. She was funny. Yeah. She seemed like happy and not thrilled at the same time. Right. She seemed happy to be there performing, but she seemed to be giving the other guys a little bit of guff for some reason. Right. And they're actually a four-piece. I was looking on their Facebook page. Yeah. They were actually a four-piece. So they, they then, left a piece behind? Yeah. They only <laughs> had three pe- pieces. <laughs> it's like, you know, putting together a Lego thing. There's always an extra piece. I don't need that one. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's like the first time I used to work on my cars or motorcycles. There was always an extra part. And I'm like, <laughs> this is not good because it's not going to run. Well, it was <laughs> Halloween. Maybe the fourth piece had other plans. But... Uh, just and, to nerd out, I was putting a timing advance once in one of my older motorcycles that wasn't uh, fuel injected, and I took the whole part of the motor I needed to take apart, did all that, got everything out, put, together, put it all back in. I never put the timing advance. I never switched out the timing advance piece. Mm-hmm. I had to do it all again. Ugh. I'm like, oh, you a little over overexcited. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's terrible. Jump the gun. Anyway, that's uh, that's that's the, um, that's the story of my motorcycle. If you like it, call me and I'll do it again. Oh. <laughs> and then they had uh, DJs, and the, uh, one of the DJs was just Wolverine, and he kept yelling at you and pointing at you. Because I was getting it on on the dance I know floor. You were. We have some pictures of that too. But, I was um... busting a nut all over the place. <laughs> you were. Yeah. And when you were, uh, we were going to leave that room because the DJ was in a room where the door shut. I think to keep the sound down. That's Good zero. Lord. That's okay, honey. Oh, gosh. Wow. I don't know who freaked out more. <laughs> Him or you? Scared me. <laughs> uh, zero's in here chasing a fly. Yeah, and he was and so jumping he's, around. Yeah, he's acting like a kangaroo. <laughs> There's a song in that. Sing it. No. Um. So lame. So that was pretty cool. It had its own bar in there, and the Wolverine DJ kept pointing at you. And then I posted a picture of the zombie drummer. Yeah. What was it called? It was cool. It was a. It wasn't drummer. It was drummer. A, he was playing uh, bongos. But he had a whole percussion thing. He had mm. bongos, and he had some other percussion stuff too, as in drums. Right. And not, not tin <laughs> cans or anything. Right. No. But it was uh, neat because it, it was a full DJ mm-hmm. playing like boom, tss, boom, tss, boom, tss, right. boom, and then there was an actual percussionist playing along, and they had the mix so you could hear the dude playing right. percussion. It wasn't in the background; it was no, yeah, up it was in your really face. good. I liked yeah. it. I can't remember who they are. I have it written down, and uh, it's on their Facebook page or whatever. But it's really good. Um, go um, on. Sorry, I was just gonna. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to say about the party. It was really good. Um, I wasn't. S- only complaint I have is I wasn't super happy about the bar situation. There needed to be like one or two more bars because they only had in the little thing promo. I believe they said they were going to have five or six bars. I only saw two. Yeah, I'm not sh- well. I'm sure they count the VIP bar as one, right? So that would okay. be three. And I'm not so. sure we went everywhere there was to go. I didn't see where else to go. Yeah, but anyway, it, it, being the first year, I thought it went really well. But there was a couple things. Uh, either forever. more bartenders right. or more bars and places to sit. There was, yeah, there was nowhere to sit. I was dying. Like, but it was a great time. After four hours, I was totally done. I yeah. was like, I got to go. I, I want to take the office hot dog. I'm hot, 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 hot. <laughs> yeah? I'm Is that what you were thinking? Moist hot dog. What? Gross. What? <laughs> Gross. So you should have said um, I need that. to sit down. <laughs> you need to sit down on a moist hot dog? Nope. That is weird. <laughs> yeah, buns in the oven. Yeah, they didn't have any weenie in the bun. And they took weenie like, in the butt. Jason was gone for like a half an hour trying to get a couple beers. <laughs> so yeah, 
No, and there was that uh, one time I was gone long enough that you guys ended up coming and finding me. Yeah, we were like, okay, what do you think happened to him? <laughs> yeah, so it was so, no, I'm but it was really good. happy we went early and got to partake of the happy hour specials and um, have a couple of beers before that because we only had two beers after it got busy. Right. So. No, it was it was it was nice. I think for the first year and what it was, it it was definitely a success. I hope. Right. Well, that that was what I was just trying to say. Like my only complaint would be right. that. They I, needed to do the bar situation a little bit different. I hope she made her money or they made their money right. back enough to do it next year. So, yeah. yeah. So, you go. Happy Halloween. Woo. I hope everybody else had a safe and enjoyable holiday weekend Halloween festivity. Do you want to talk thing. about our ride home? I want to talk about it to you. Did you want to talk about our ride home? I just said, I did. are you not listening to mm. the singing prowess? Mm. Woo. What about our ride home? I just said it was really funny because we were going to get a cab and Jason's like, no, we'll just have. I don't know <laughs> how much of this we should talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> because some of the things that were said, some people may not want I to know. I just wanted to say that. Uh... And Jason may not want those things known. <laughs> If you that, know what I'm uh, saying. Jason made his son come get us at 11 o'clock at night. That is on Halloween funny, night. Yeah. That's what I find the funniest well, part. He was just like, made, "Oh, he's not doing nothing. Let's get him to come." Well, pick made us him up. I'm drive like, oh, us, oh. and then made him yeah. pick us up. <laughs> Although we yeah. did do the one o'clock in the morning Taco Bell ride. Yeah, and so everybody was happy. Yeah, except for you because I ate your burrito and then you hardly had any food. Right. So I had to make you nachos at one o'clock in the morning. Right. <laughs> I so tell you, happy Halloween to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. I didn't have enough food. <laughs> no, but uh, anyway, that was a lot of fun. We'll yeah. do it again next year, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. So, and next year we know to wait to buy our tickets so we can get that ten dollars discount. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It was not a cheap event. No, that's for dang sure. But all right, all for a good cause. I don't know what the cause. I guess lying in somebody's pockets. So that's always well. I just uh, tr- we're try to support local activities and stuff because since we live in Nampa, most of the activities around here are geared towards tourists and they don't have a ton of... I think if you want to lo- um, support local activities, why don't you steam a hot dog, if you know what I'm saying, huh? Put mm. it in the warmer. <laughs> yeah, let's make it plump like a ballpark. <laughs> oh, <Frank>. Lord. What? <laughs> Use of euphemism portion of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> euphemism portion of the ever. Ever. Whatever that means. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was that? All right, all right, we're moving on. Yeah. That's enough of that. Well, fine. What do you got then? Don't you have something to say about snake oil? <laughs> I have some thank yous. I'm going to do a couple now. I'm going to do, do one some right now. At the, I want to do a thank you and a shout out to Snake Oil Comics before I forget to snake leave them out and they call me out. Snake <laughs> Oil Comics. Oh, my gosh. I want you to feel Those guys are pretty out. funny. Snake Oil Comics. See, and you even got a song. All right. <laughs> I thought you were going to back me up with some. Nope. Uh, Put it up. Well, I know job. you wouldn't back me up. Jesus, I'm <laughs> flying solo here. Not a singer. I, oh, and I am. I am. It's you were just the it's about of a band. it's about getting to your roots. You want to touch your roots, and then you want to let it flow into the microphone. I think you want to touch your roots. I want to touch a root. Right. See. Root. Root. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's break my twig and see if it grows back. No, right. let's not do that. <laughs> so, uh, what are you? What are you doing over there? Are you doing homework? Checking my notes. Checking my notes. Lord, what you got? What do you mean? What do I got? You're the one who stopped me from my euphemism. So you better. You now got to take it off. You were just gonna euphemism for the next forty five minutes. That's all I got going. It's all what? life is. It's That's a euphemism true. after another euphemism. <laughs> and for that, what that kind of crappy word is euphemism? I don't know. Like you think for that, it would be a more fun word to say. I feel like I'm in freaking some college English class euphemism. That's like something you do, like the UN does. Like, oh, we had, we had a vote on the euphemism today, but that's not. I mean, it's like, hey, I'm talking about my junk going inside your trunk, and it's like, oh, that's a euphemism. It's like, what? <laughs> it's not a college course. You're trying to sound sounds way too stuffy. Yeah, it should be more like that's a that's a slung plu. Totally slung plued all over the place. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. <laughs> that. That's true. That word's a little too long, too, though. It's true. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that um, I was watching F one racing today. <laughs> you were, and as were you. I'm a big fan of the racing uh, sh- shows. Mm-hmm. I would, I'd like to call them um, <laughs> the shows about cars racing. Yes. I'm also a big fan of the NASCAR show. 
<laughs> and it, so it's really funny to see the difference between F1 and NASCAR. But what's even more funny is the guys in F1 just like to jump all over NASCAR at least once a broadcast. Oh, really? So today's was... I didn't see that. ...was how um, technical and precise pit stops are in F1. And it's like, it's, this isn't just jumping over a wall like in NASCAR. These guys are oh. in the fire. Yeah, it was hilarious. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. I also like how there's such a huge divide, like, you know... Ferrari and Rolex and all of this are part of F1 and it's like fly Emirates and it's like we travel around the world and it's all freaking just huge diamonds and a lot of gold and then NASCAR <laughs> it's like it's the Coors Light pole qualifying thing you yeah, know it's kind of funny as not having been a fan of any kind of racing at all um and now you watch both and so I've learned a little bit about both but um I have to say that I still enjoy NASCAR way more than I enjoy Formula One. Like yeah. I find Formula One boring and I find the drivers kind of pompous. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's like, yeah. I, I don't, and I don't enjoy Unlike that. Like NASCAR think. drivers, they're not pompous at all. No, I just, well, they're kind of, sometimes they're jerks, but I think that, uh, and some of them, you know, think they're the best or whatever. But I think that, I think as any sort of um, athlete of any sport of any kind, you have to, think you're the best. You have to go out there thinking that you're going to do awesome. Otherwise, why are you going out there? I'm, I don't, I don't, even I don't think, I don't think anybody goes athletes. out there going, oh, God, this is going to suck. Let's just do this. I don't even think <laughs> it know? needs to be athletes. You can be a, a doctor, an architect. Right. If you're at the top of your game, right. you you have to have that Confidence attitude of, and, yeah. I am the best, and you can all euphemize the next line. <laughs> no, I agree. And I'm just saying that as a viewer and as a new viewer, I enjoy – watching NASCAR way more than I enjoy watching Formula yeah, 1. Yeah, I, I just, I like racing of all No, I know. And I do like the difference. And I mean, it's such a different sport and what they do, but... Right, um, I think, yeah, I think they're completely different. I, I do have a question for you. Hmm. What do you think Kitty Von Kitty Pants thinks about this? Um, well, she's kind of... She? Is it she? I thought it was Lord Gravy Face or something like that. Wow. <laughs> Isn't it a lord? It is a lord. Yeah, I guess so that'd, that'd be, be male. A, he, uh, well, it doesn't have he's to be Italian. in this day and age. <laughs> but so he probably prefers Formula One since he's maybe Italian. he's a uh, oh I forget the name a castrato. He's delicate and Italian, so he's I'm a gonna castro- what do you, that he don't prefers start Formula with one. me. <laughs> don't you start? <laughs> oh, that kind of does uh-huh. remind me of something. When we get into our our favorite five, it was you know who Nick Offerman is. I think his name is Nick Offerman. No. He's the, uh, I think he plays Ron Swanson on Rec and, Park and Rec. Hmm. The guy with the mustache. He's been on other stuff too, but he's the, he's like the man's man. He eats meat and. Oh, you know? that guy. Okay. Yeah. I think it's. I Nick don't, Offerman. I don't watch that show as much as most people. Well, it's, it's gone. But anyway, okay. he's like, he actually has a um, woodworking business. They make canoes and tables. Really? Yeah. Like in real life. In real life. Yeah. Wow, and he's okay. very much, he's not the Ron Swanson guy, but he's very much like manly man kind of guy. And I realized that, and I'm a huge fan of his. I think he's awesome. Realized that he would absolutely hate my guts if we ever met. I'm like, <laughs> Why? there was some article where they were asking him about manscaping and, and he was talking about how it's just, it's horrifically wrong and ridiculous. And I just thought I could just imagine Meeting this guy with like, I color my hair and I shave my chest and I got earrings. I like to wear bracelets. What are you doing? And he'd be like, oh, I think I'm going to kill you. That's just you. not part of his act. Oh. I always thought it was kind of part of his act. Well, he seems like a nice, I don't know him. He seems like a nice guy, but it just, out of some of the little quotes and interviews I've read, it doesn't yeah, seem. Yeah, but I don't think you can be an actor in Hollywood, i.e. wears makeup to do a show and be like super. But that's your that. job. Yeah, but he still wears makeup. And then what so... he does for fun is work with wood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We might get along See? better than I thought. See? Uh, so I just thought it was funny. But anyway, <laughs> it was just interesting. So I have no idea where we were before that. So uh, let's <laughs> let's sing a song. How do you no. feel about that? No. Um, we were talking about the cats and being Italian and racing and cars. Yeah. I'm not so sure what, we got on that. I don't know. What else you got? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> it's not like, <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue what we're doing. I don't know. Um, I want to know how you're feeling about Flash and uh, Constantine. The TV shows? Because you do... I feel uh, like I'm not getting paid you, you to watch do, them. You do a podcast on Gotham, so we know your views about that. But I'd like to know what you think about Flash and Constantine. I don't do a podcast on Gotham. I am part of a podcast on Gotham. And I must say, I'm the lazy part of the podcast on Gotham. Fair enough. 
Um, so you, you want to know really good points on that last one though. This, I think I told everybody that already. But. Yeah. It's a shame because yeah. we podcast, um, during the week and I don't like to partake in any adult beverages during the week. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of going into it dry and it's kind of like, I think it would be a lot more fun <laughs> if I was, you nobody know, wants to go into it dry. Yeah, you gotta like, go into uh, it wet. Whatever. Amen. Sister, <laughs> this ain't sandpaper. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be bumping my way down the line. I want to just slide on in there. Right. Smooth up in you. So it doesn't. Uh, some of our peeps would say. As someone would say. <laughs> so Flash and Constantine. <laughs> there are two shows that are on the CW. What do you think? Um, I'm really enjoying Flash. Mm-hmm. However, it's a little CW for me. Right. I agree. Um, only saw Both one of episode those. of Constantine, and so far I like it. I mm-hmm. think I'd probably like the comic book. I have a couple of the old Hellblazer. Mm-hmm. Uh, which you said was in a, has to do with Constantine? It is the Constantine. Yeah, it's yeah. Hellblazer, not Constantine. Oh, okay. And I, Constantine um, is the ca- character. Okay. The this These were a couple comic books when I wanted to get into comic books years in about 20, 20 years. Oh, gosh, it might be. Yeah. How old am I? Yeah, it might You've be like done, 20 years uh, ago. Sandman and yep. Hellblazer. And Witchcraft or something like that. And Witchcraft, right. Um. So I think I'd really enjoy the, the comic books. Yeah. Right. However, excuse me, I'm, I'm choking on myself over here. Um <laughs> Net what? Oh, no. okay. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Lucky me. Um, Yoga. <laughs> been having a lot of pineapple lately. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I enjoy them. I don't know. I mean, they're TV shows. They kill yeah. time. I enjoy it. How about, did you want to have something to say about it? No, I like them. Yeah, that's it. I, um, I like, so far, even though I've only seen one, I think I like Constantine more just because I like the darker aspect of it. Yeah. And so, let again, me, I'm sorry. The, as we were on. just said, uh, Flash is a little bit WB for me sometimes, which is why we actually really never got into Arrow. We only watched the first two episodes, or was it three, three episodes? Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is very WB. I'm not sure I can do it. It's very angsty. But I heard it got... it got Right. Everyone says it got great, yeah. so we'll have to marathon that at some point. Of those, of, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., mm-hmm. Constantine, Arrow, Flash, and Gotham, which one do you th- would you say is your favorite? If you had... I mean, I know that's hard because they're, they are very different. Um, well, I've only seen one of Constantine, so it's really hard to say. I know. I'm just, I but mean, this is so far. I would say matter. Constantine is my number one. Gotham is my number two. Flash is my number three, and my Agents of Shield is my number four. Oh, and okay. I, Arrow's not on there because I don't watch it. Right, right, so, right. Um, and I, I like Agents of Shield. It's very entertaining. Right. I mean, I, I like it because it's entertaining. I'm not saying it's a great TV show. Right. It is a decent TV show. And I really enjoy watching it, which is the most important part of anything. I think. So. That's all that matters. I have fun. Like, yeah. you know, we sit down with dinner and turn it on and, you know, enjoy the hour that we spend together. Mm, 44 minutes. But yeah. 44 minutes, right. Yeah. No. But yeah. I'm, I hear you. Uh, who am I to judge? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Who are you to judge? Your... <laughs> the hell is that? Oh, I think I touched something. Oh my god! <laughs> it's, oh my, okay, can you stop? That? <laughs> Super sorry. Oh my goodness! That time it was Woo. not my fault. Now give me some BS. I touched the button. Oh, and sorry then you about stop that. it early. Ah, always. I always stop yeah. it early, huh? Got to complete. Got to complete. I know. There you go. Sorry, because you have to wait for a little echo at the end. <laughs> you get, just got to wait till he's done talking. I'm saying. <laughs> Why so, try to cut it short? <laughs> uh, but you, you are, you like to judge things. Yeah. You carry scorecards uh, with you. <laughs> I don't. But <laughs> I don't, you know, want to impress my opinion on everybody. I'm just saying I like it. I enjoy it. It's enjoyable. There you go. I also like Sherlock. Yeah, you do. I enjoy that. Mm-hmm. You are a fan of the... Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Big fan. Yeah. Big, big fan. <laughs> are you, you going to make a that? comment about uh, my Sherlock Holmes fascination? Yeah. Um, <laughs> No, are you trying to rip your paper over there? No, I uh, I'm trying to get all my notes together. All my notes. You do all my notes. <laughs> you do uh, have a Sherlock Holmes fascination, or a, yeah. Well, you have. Don't you have like a first printing of some book or something? I do. You think I know a little more than that? <laughs> all I know is that it's so important. It's not here, and it's at my parents' house. Yes. Which is probably good, considering that our house seems to shake apart every now and then. Right. <laughs> um, you're at uh, in at your parents' house under lock and key in their library. Yes. <laughs> Which is a wall in their house. I do. I have a first edition, um, gold edged. What does that mean, gold edged? When the paper is uh, gold edged in real gold, not paint. Oh, let's sell that. <laughs> 
<laughs> buy myself some more of these comic books that freaking graphic novice keeps telling me I, I should know. be reading. Dirty graphic novice. <sighs> Let's tweet Doc Thirst. Hold on. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Since he's listening oh, right now, I know funny. he is. <laughs> you should. You should tweet graphic novice and Doc Thirst at the same time. Be like, we're recording and we're tweeting you. Suck it. <laughs> Second double dog, back. <laughs> double dog dare you. Do it. I'm doing it right now. Do you got to talk while I text, though, because I can't sing. multitask that way. This song is oh a gosh. poem to myself. It helps me to live. How's that? Very good. Good. All right. Uh, what else do I got? I ain't got nothing. I got no really? notes. I got nothing. I have that I want to build a deck on the roof of our house. Oh, we should, oh, we should totally talk about that, because that was really cool. And then you talk to your dad about it, and he's like, yeah. that's really cool. So um, we have a, I mean... We don't have a huge house. We're not talking thousands and thousands of square feet, but we have your typical three-bedroom, two-bathroom, single-story house. And I had this dream the other night where we have a kind of a covered – that's not kind of. It is. It's a covered patio in the backyard, um, which is kind of nice. It's tiled and kind of keeps the sun off you, and you can hang out there and sun your prunes without having your prunes in the direct sunlight. <laughs> Nobody wants their prunes in the direct sunlight. <laughs> no. And we, well, I don't know. I wouldn't know. We so. try that every now and then, and it seems to cook my prune. Uh, <laughs> I like it. So, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, there's a song. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, Let's see, you got something out of me. <laughs> and so we have to re-roof the little patio area. And I had this dream that how we re-roofed it was we actually built a deck up there with stairs going up the side of the house to the deck. And so we could have a bigger, a nicer view of the Napa, part of the Napa Valley. Right. Obviously not the whole Napa Valley because. How the dog's going to get up there? Uh, well, seven couldn't. Right. Uh, okay. But zero could but seven would be stuck down below. We just throw stuff at him and he'd feel bad about himself. Oh, um, God. <laughs> so I, I was like, Oh, this would be kind of cool. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know. And so my dad, who's a retired contractor um, and custom home builder, I uh, asked him about it. I said, I had this dream and he was like, Whoa, that's really cool. So they're going to come over maybe next weekend. He's going to check it out because he thinks not only does he think it's a good idea, he would actually want to build it. Right. So we may, depending if we get the permits for it mm. or if we don't permit it and right. just kind of Risk it hope all. the neighbors don't complain that we can see into every inch of their houses. Well, there's two uh, story houses on the street. I mean, it's not like. Yeah, but I'm sure they went through permits and, yeah. you know, right. um, probably that. a good idea that I put that on a podcast because Whoopsie. You know, <laughs> I guess we're getting permits. Uh, we live in Santa Ana. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> I just want to live in Rancho Cucamonga, so I have to write that out whenever I... <laughs> Maybe Rancho they have some sort Cucamonga. of uh, abbreviation. Yeah. Hopefully they don't have to write it out every Stinky time. Stinky feet. I don't know, whatever it is. Stinky feet? I don't know. What? Yeah, I didn't know where that came I from. Neither do I. Good Lord. All right, what else? Um, I'm going to do like a couple more thank yous, and then I have some more stories to tell. Oh, we'll tell some stories. Um, I want. Are to, we thanking me? I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna throw out a couple thank yous every now and then, so it's not like a solid five minutes of thank yous at the end. And you're gonna forget somebody again. I always forget somebody, and then we're I'm gonna sorry get in advance. Tweeted. I know. Um, I want to say thank you to uh, Podcast Digest. You for, know what I think Podcast Digest would really like is if you sang them the thank you. Just, I don't. Thank you. He might really like that, actually. Do it. Dan Lizette real quick. Really, really like just, that. Just a quick thank but, um, you. But I'm not a singer, Dan. Can't you, do it. you don't have to. Just right. thank you. So thank you for all your support and retweets. And of course, <laughs> the so claimed sexiest podcast on the Pod Gods Network, Salty Language. Thank you. I have challenged that a couple of times. We'll just let that go, I suppose. I don't know why you're challenging. <laughs> why that they're sexier just... than us? <laughs> Damn it. I believe... well, have you heard Tony's voice? Pretty that is sure. true. He's he sounds pretty sexy. I sound like a um, balloon that's getting in a fight with a wombat. <laughs> oh god! So I'm not, I'm not too sure we're gonna. That's gonna work. Way to sell it. You're supposed to be selling us. Sell us. <laughs> um, I am. I'm selling us as the balloon wombat oh my gosh. podcast. But um, did you know that they joined Musings of a Geek Network did, too? So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did what? I know that? Yeah. How would I not know that? I'm just throwing it out. Of course there I for... did. I welcome them immediately. As yeah, when... I know you did. When Zisco sent the, uh, let's welcome, you know. know. And what's really funny is, is I always gather want to call, him up, Dan. Gather him up. <laughs> I, I always, whoa, that's weird. <laughs> do it. I always uh, go ahead. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I always um, when, do it, ja. <laughs> I know it's salty language, but I always think of salty dog the drink. So I always want to call them the salty dogs. Oh, <laughs> but I know it's salty. Language. But uh, yeah, so and uh, they're they're really awesome, and so I'm happy that they're even 
on another one with us. And they're on, I think, Geek he, he Life Radio now, too. Is that right? Yeah, and Pod Gods. And, well, yeah. I mean, I think oh, well, right. okay. yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Well, I'm sorry for bringing so, right. it up there. Woo-hoo! That's two more down. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, oh, so the thank yous don't matter. They do matter. They're just out of I wrote guilt. them down. And look, at I, I wrote notes. Salty Language has like six notes next to their name. I can't even get through all their thank yous. Salty, salty. Eat more pineapple, boys. Salty, salty, oh. salty. <laughs> we are... Um, they can be the sexiest podcast on the network. We are the most balloon balloon wombatish. I don't want to be that. Oh, you do. I don't. Why not? <laughs> I don't want to be that. <laughs> I want to be angry little wombat. No, who said angry? I, we're cute. I thought, I thought wombats were angry. Are who? they not angry little animals? Well, no angry animals. Oz, let us know. Who isn't is, it? What? Isn't now it, you're getting stere- no, now no, you're no. stereotyping isn't people. Isn't a, a wombat an Australian animal? I believe so. Someone look that up. But why um, would they? Are there any? Does, is any animal inherently angry? I don't know. Probably not. Everybody says the badger is, so it's probably fine if you just leave him alone. Well, he does have the name Badger. Yeah. Well. No. <sighs> um, oh, I want to talk about my uh, brother's podcast, Who the What Now. And on this uh, last, whoa! I just hit the mic. Sorry about that. I know I can't help myself. I can flip that thing around so well, it's like this. If him, yeah, if that maybe because I don't know. I will, I will manage to hit it no matter where it is. It could be across the room. I'd manage but to I hit it. But I could do it like, like mine, so it's farther away. Maybe. Yeah. Two back yeah. arms. Um, what? <laughs> All right, you wanted to talk about your brother's penis. No. Okay. Uh, so my brother's podcast. Um, same he does thing. with his wife, Michelle. And yeah, Adam. see, same thing. So um, <clears throat> they released their uh, Halloween podcast, and he was talking about uh, scary stories and ghosts and things like that. And he talked about the haunted house that we grew up in. So... <laughs> I have to. I still have been <laughs> excited uh, about. It. Yes, I know. considering well, that he grew up in it, also, I would think he would talk about. It. <laughs> but we were talking before about, um, um, you know, the, um, <laughs> you just totally. We well, were talking before about, uh, you know, you know, in the last podcast, I was talking about how I uh, um, submitted a little story for dropping loads about the haunted house, and I said that uh, my siblings grew up in the same house, but we never really talked about it, and he just said the same thing on his podcast, so. It was kind of cool to hear a couple of his stories on there, and so about the haunted mansion. Yeah, so we have to get together at some point and do a crrossover bo- podcast and uh, talk about that stuff. Yeah, I, I would like that. Yeah. I know they're very. We'll busy probably have right to do now. Skype though. I don't know if we yeah, can all get together. Probably be I mean, easier unless but... we do it over Thanksgiving, and then I'd be too many other people around. So. <laughs> right. Well, it would be during Christmas because Thanksgiving this year is right. Mine. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so dividing was of the kind holidays. Of funny. Yep. Divide and conquer. Welcome to marriage. Dividing up the holidays. Yep. <laughs> It's good. That way you don't have to spend so much time with just one family. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> got to see you people again. I just saw you a month ago. But we do go over. We end up going over there like on one of the days around Thanksgiving. Going so. where? Going over to see my family. Oh, yes. Oh, no, of course. No, no, we'll, we'll see them. Yeah. I just meant that it might not work out in person, but uh, we can easily Skype. So We'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, ghost stories. You should check it out. Just random ghost stories. That is the one nice thing. No, about, about so like all the um, they have a lot of like ghost stories experiences, and they were talking about how he wonders if once you kind of have an experience, if they're almost like attracted to you, like are you just more open to it, or if you just see things that aren't really there because you've had this one experience, and then well, once, now you're once phobic you, about it almost. <laughs> once you've reached that level of crazy where you start believing in ghosts, <laughs> yeah, you probably see more. No, I'm joking. I've had experiences with the poltergeists. This is what the hell are you doing <laughs> over there? I'm hitting the mic. Smack the mic. <laughs> yeah, smack it like you mean it. Um, oh, and they uh, a hist- on the history of bad ideas episode with uh, Dan Zisco and um, Amy from Culture Babble. They uh, and when, uh, Jason wasn't there. It was just Jeff. No, he was sick. Right, He's feeling and better uh, they, were, uh, they answered my question about if they believe in ghosts, and I believe. If memory serves, uh, Amy and Dan said yes, and Jeff said no, but then he said some other stuff, and I was like, well, how do you not believe in them then? <laughs> Damn it, Jeff. Come I on. think we were called out by History of Bad Ideas, but I'm not positive. Um, For the drink stuff, right? Oh, no, no, for that, and about giving credit for... Oh, uh, for the favorite five? Yeah. We totally gave them credit. I thought so. We so talked about it many, many If there was any confusion, times. I want to say that the, our favorite five list started because we heard theirs, and I thought, Their oh, that's five, kind of a cool... Top yeah. 25. And... <laughs> <laughs> So if at all that it seemed like we were trying to, you know, right, steal right, some right. thunder. Oh, no, no. We, well, I would very much like to see their thunder, but however. <laughs> Bring the thunder. Drop the hammer. <laughs> That's, you know, Jason's nickname. I know, it's Jason's so. nickname. Not drop That's the hammer, just the hammer. Lay the hammer? What? 
What? Wait, what? What? Pick Lay up the Thor's hammer, hammer. Oh, that's a good euphemism. <laughs> pick up Thor's you gotta, hammer. <laughs> you got to try and pick up Thor's hammer. There you hammer. go, Jason. You're welcome. Yeah. And then you can be like, I am Iron Man. And I'm like, no, it'd be better if you were Captain America. You <gasps> know, it'd be good. <laughs> At oh, least almost, get it to move a little bit. Maybe choke on my beverage. Sorry. Yeah, well, that's another good euphemism. <laughs> totally. Pick up Thor's hammer and choke on your beverage. Oh, this is going to be a good oh, night. Oh, my gosh. That's a good night. I have like 26 girls. euphemisms in here already. We, no, right. we don't have to do euphemism of the day because you got like 26. So that Angry will get us till next month. Podcast strikes again. <laughs> no, come on. Oh. oh, I'm sucking up my lime. Settle down. Settle down. All right. <laughs> um, you got anything else exciting? Otherwise, I was going to get into our favorite five. Oh yeah, what are we doing? Good times? Are we do? Are we doing good times? We're doing good, good, good times. times. Oh, Whoa! you did it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we can't high five. I hope if you We're watch the video. Away. We're yeah, too far away. We're too far away to high five. See, it wasn't God that big of a deal. It. Do it, Jack. Yeah, you, right. you sang it out. I, I'm not a singer, though, so let's it's just move on It's not about singing. It's about having fun and entertaining our friends. Well, you go ahead. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> well, there's the bus again. <laughs> um, I'm just not good at it. So did you have anything else you wanted to cover before? Ba, ba, ba. I have a 26 more thank yous. Oh, dear Lord. Well, why don't, no, your thank yous are going to wait. Let's get to some, or you don't want them to wait? What's that look for? What are you doing over there? I was tightening my shorts. My goodness. Oh, just, Bubba's. You just now, pay attention to yourself. Now you upset Bubba. Now you oh. upset Bubba. Sorry, Bubba. I All just right. moved around. Does this, does this matter? Favorite Ooh. five. Has, and we'd like to thank History of Bad Ideas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I also want to say that um, Ryan from Green has been using our the favorite five, which came from History of Bad Ideas. Yeah, it's not. So our, uh, yeah, he keeps giving awesome. credit to I us. I know, but, but and that's super cool. But yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, but thank you. <laughs> just have your have your fun. Have your fun and eat it too. Whoa! I just dropped a pen. So our favorite five for this week mm-hmm. are our favorite five things that we look forward to around the Halloween fall season. Is that how do we say? Yeah, well, we were going to do a favorite five things around Halloween, but then we're like, you know, that sounds more like fallish. So I guess favorite things we they don't look have to be Halloween forward specific, to but Halloween for this is time kinda, of year. Yeah, Halloween is kind of the focal point. I kind of honestly, I kind of yeah, around this time because we haven't gotten into like Christmas and Thanksgiving yet. Right. So, <laughs> so should we say our favorite things to look forward to between Halloween and Christmas? <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's because it, because it happens before Halloween, but it's right. kind of like. You know, yeah, to me, up in to my Halloween head, and... they're Halloween-ish, but they're not right. Halloween-isms. Right. So you you'll figure you'll you'll maybe you'll figure it out. Maybe you won't as we do it. <laughs> we weren't sure what to call it. Yeah, for sure. My number five favorite Halloween slash fall things that are coming that I enjoy that I wait for that are now here. Mm. Number five is all the stuff that comes out that smells like quote unquote spice. <laughs> like they have the spice candles right, right. and spice potpourri, mm-hmm. if you will. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the cinnamon smell. They're not cinnamon. That's more. See, to me, that's more Christmas. This yeah. is more that fall Halloween spicish clove, if you will. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe a little nutmeggy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe turkeyish. Right. We really don't know. Right. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> yeah. No one. No one does. No, it's know. in the spice. It's not packets. a natural smell, but it smells good. Right. <laughs> Right. So that's my number my number five. Oh, that's too funny. What's your uh, number five? <clears throat> Not shaving. <laughs> well once we start going into fall and winter, I get to shave less. That's great. <laughs> uh, that's lovely. Yeah, when you is. said that, the dog farted. <laughs> so you freaked every so- <laughs> male out in this house. <laughs> I still do. I just do it less often because I'm not wearing like short shorts every day and I don't have to be in perfect condition. <laughs> perfect <laughs> condition. I don't have to be well polished anymore. <laughs> right. Okay. And you love me, so you don't care. No, I don't care at all. What? Huh? Do you care? No. Do you want me to shave more often? I like prickly pears. <laughs> no, I didn't. Don't get. Don't start with me. <laughs> I know you don't really care. That's My number why four. I can say that with abandon. Out abandon? With abandon. With your, without? who are you abandoning? Wait, how does that go? I think it's without. <laughs> <laughs> However oh, you're saying it, let's just go to number, anyway. number four. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to keep going no, about no. the shaving thing? No, I don't. No, go on. No. Let's hear about the, you know. Being lazy. Sc- scruffy beaver. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that kind the of shave. I meant shaving fuzzy, my legs. Fuzzy wombat. I meant shaving my See, legs. I'm the angry balloon. You're the fuzzy I wombat. I keep everything else tidy. Just shaving the legs. <sighs> as all Nick Offerman would not be happy. 
Uh, I wonder if he likes the big 70s, you know. Well, he must because if he's going to be hairy, then he can only expect that from others. And he's married to, I think, a famous actress, too. Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't want to think about that right now. (laughs) Think about that later. You're the one that brought it up. Bored. (laughs) My number, what am I, number four? Number, what are you pointing at? The dog. Your furry beaver? Oh, the dog. I'll take a picture. Go ahead. Uh, My number four is candy corn. I am a huge you fan. You are a huge fan of candy of corn. The candy corn. <laughs> I like candy corn. I want candy corn. The world needs more candy corn. Candy cane. Candy cane. <laughs> Can't help myself. I have to do that every uh, time. <laughs> which is on, interesting. Oh, I just. Excuse me. Hit my dog with a, a pen. Which is interesting. When watching NASCAR, they mentioned Casey Kane because you always candy say cane. candy cane. <laughs> All right. Are you uh, going to get the dog riled up? No, I, what? Right. What's your number? No, <laughs> I was. So that's my number four. Candy corn. What's your number four? Um, my number four is slightly broad, but bear with me. It's uh, food and drinks. Looking forward to all the eating and drinking that's going to happen. But I can finite that down to things like, um, for some reason, it's more acceptable I to can drink finite. Thing? Finite. Okay. That's. I don't know. Make I'm very confused today look by the up. English language. Put that up. Um. Things like mold wine and... Uh, oh, no, no, no. You can't do that. Why? No, 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 no. I know what you're doing. You're going history of bad ideas by trying to fit four things into one. Uh-uh. <laughs> Damn it. No, because you talked about it but earlier. I want to do like... No. But all the no, little... no, no. Pick what? one. Pick one. Mold wine it is. Your number four thing I'm looking forward to this in this season is mold wine. Fine. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, Levon wears his war like a crown. Um what? my number three. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> my number three is pumpkin beer. Yes, you do like the pumpkin beer. Do you like the pumpkin beer? It's very manly. But there's a certain one though, or do you try them all? Um there is a certain one and I never remember the name of it. I know that you know Trader what it looks Joe's like visually. But it's not a Trader Joe's brand. They, right. they carry They carry it. some other brand. Um, okay. I'm losing my co-host to photos. Good. I'm good. So pumpkin beer. Well, next time we see it, you can uh, take a picture of it and we can post a picture. I'd rather buy some and drink it. That too. Yeah. What's, take a picture of it at home. What's your number three? Uh, my number three is Christmas music. I start listening to Christmas music as early as possible. And that usually means around Halloween. <laughs> it is true. We have very interesting musical ways about us. That's true. Um, once Halloween hits. They're kind of moods it, for us. It's pretty much Christmas for about two months straight. Although <laughs> I lay the smack down once January 1st comes, that's it. I know. Christmas music. But then like. I still listen to it in the car when you're not around. About two and a half months before we go on vacation, we're pretty much 24 hours of reggae all the time. Right. <laughs> And then in between then, it goes between both of our styles of music, which fortunately we actually enjoy each other's music. So it's, what are you doing? I'm playing with the dog. Oh, my God. We're recording a podcast. <laughs> but he's so cute. Yeah. And you're going to get him riled up and then he's going to attack this dog. And this okay. dog can barely mm-hmm. walk anymore. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh. What's, what are we on? <laughs> number two? Um, I just did my number three. Did you do your number three? Yeah. Okay. So I'm so glad you're paying attention. <laughs> Mine is... Uh, oh, my you... God. It's my turn. It's number two. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's it. We're done recording. Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> my Podcast number... is over. Yeah. My number... <laughs> I feel like I'm podcasting with Vissy Von Vissy Poo Poo. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you come up with those brilliant ideas when we were trying to name him? Oh, no, no. <laughs> He's got a good name. Lord Pussy Von Pussy Pants. Nope. Lord Sissy Von Cat Face. Closer. <laughs> okay. uh, my number two is the pumpkin spice latte. Nice. You do love that. When I, with my alcohol and my coffee, I like it to be straight freaking manly. I want to be able to walk into a bar or a coffee shop and like lay down the law like, oh, don't let the jingling of the bracelets fool you. Give me the pumpkin spice latte. You know what? Triple that son of a bitch. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to need that non-fat with no whipped cream, though. Okay. Thanks. Or foam. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Pumpkin spice latte number two. <laughs> Ring in Halloween. That's too funny. 
Um, I love when it gets starts getting colder because then we can use our fireplace. And by fireplace, I mean electric heater slash fireplace because we don't have a real it's fireplace. A big fireplace. However, I love it just the same. It's awesome. And um, I look forward to it. Like as as soon as it's okay to use it, as soon as it's cold enough, that thing is on all the time if I can help it. Yeah. I just love it. Because I it mean, because cool. I do wish we kind of had a real fireplace, but we don't as well as they're kind of messy and all that stuff. Yeah. But um, I love it. And considering that a whole bunch of them fell over during this last earthquake, I'm kind of happy we don't have one. Now. Yeah, very true. Um, so that's your. Okay, so my number one. I'll let you finish whatever it is. When you're done doing what you're doing, we'll get back to podcasting. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> my Dad number is adorable. I know he's adorable. <laughs> my number one okay. is that it lets me know that snowboarding season is right around the corner. Oh, yeah. However, <clears throat> I have not been in many, many a time. Mm. But this is the time typically I get excited, like snow's going to start falling, mm. go to Tahoe, see the snow, hang out in the snow, do all that. I've only been the one time, and that was right before I met you. Yeah, and I, I would definitely like to go now. It's just with the two dogs and everything, it's so freaking expensive yeah. to board them that it's almost not, you know, when you start figuring out how much money you're actually going to spend to well, go. And now that snowboard bad, tickets are almost... For have to go separately. What? Like, I mean, for good or bad, you'd you have to... Well, no, I, I meant, meant like, like just even just to go to Tahoe. afford it. But I mean, j- let's say just go to yeah. Tahoe or Reno for the weekend. Right. Um, I mean, snowboard tickets now are, I think, over 80 bucks per you person. You have a gift certificate. Yeah. But that's only one trip. It still doesn't change the price of the snowboarding ticket. <laughs> so, um, So you figure that and then lodging and food and then boarding these two. It's all, all of a sudden. Yeah. It's a really expensive weekend. <laughs> but that's my number one is to remind me how depressing it is that we're not going. Oh. Yeah. So what's Sorry. your number? <laughs> what's your number one? Ooh, okay. Bringing it down. <laughs> Um, my favorite thing about uh, cold weather and whoa, whoa, whoa! This stuff. is Halloween. I know, but all that stuff. It's all right. just, but it, it enters into, and I know that I'm looking forward to all of this because it. Not that we don't do this all the time, but it means snuggle time with family. Meaning we all we are our little onesies and we get on the I'm couch not together. With anybody. What? You're not gonna snuggle me? Yeah, you. What do no, you mean with family? This little family, our little oh, family our, unit. Oh, yeah. our. Okay, Here you mean the house. dogs and the cats and yeah, us. Yeah, me and oh. you and the dogs. And I, the I'm like, I don't want to no, go. No, no, no. Snuggle with you my don't... dad? No. <laughs> That's not Weird. what I meant. I meant here. Like, oh, yes. You know, like, I get home and we say hi and we give a little kiss and I go put on my little onesie and we sit on the couch together with the dogs and it's just awesome snuggle family time. Yes. So that's actually really awesome. I mean, not that we don't do that like in the summertime, but it's just a little bit different when everybody's kind of chilly and snuggles in, you know, because like when it's 90 degrees outside, you don't really snuggle in. You kind of like, I don't want anyone to touch like, me please don't touch hot. me. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hot in here right now. But uh, so and we have snuggle mix snuggle pants. Right. So now we have the snuggle kitty. Yeah. What? So, what? Oh, seven's oh. trying to have a discussion with me about something. <laughs> <laughs> so that's too funny. Oh, oh, great. Now they're up. Oh, Jesus. The boys it's going to get up. loud in a second. <laughs> so All right. So <clears throat> that was, I feel good about that favorite five. Me too. I feel It was solid. I think it was solid. Yeah. When, when you were paying attention, it was awesome. Well, there's dogs and they're cute. Well, I agree. <laughs> now there's fuzzy beavers that aren't getting shaved. <laughs> hey, that's not Hi. what I said. I Angry just, Wombat. Number five is Angry not shaving Wombat. my legs. Oh, you said not, not shaving. shaving. I just met my legs. I shave everything else. Uh-huh. Pits? She still shaved the pits. Well. Because it's easier. It takes like 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Shaving my legs wow, takes like fast. five-ish minutes. <laughs> that's a fast shave. <gasps> yeah. Yep. You want to get to I've some been of your... i doing th- this. You want to do some of your thank yous now? Yes. I have a ton of thank yous. So bear with me, people, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. <laughs> What? <laughs> Stop giving me weird looks. I w- that was not a weird look. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank people that um, I'm trying to try to rotate people, I think. So just in case I didn't thank you last time. Blah, rotate blah, blah, blah. people. Rotate. Rotate people. <laughs> Musical chairs. So I want to thank the guys at Axology. They're always awesome. And they always mention us, too. So that's super awesome of them. And to go with, along with that is Epoch Nation. And Mad Mock. And so those guys are super awesome. I love those shows. Um, Amish Baby Machine. Uh, we always talk a lot on Twitter, but I, I feel like we don't, you know, I don't know if we thank them enough or are we tweeting our stuff and all of that. Inclusive Pod. And uh, they still use our promos, which is super awesome. 
And yes, we do notice. And so does Air Speaker Podcast <gasps> that we still need to do a new promo for. Yeah, we have a lot of promos so, we're um, right. going to do this weekend. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to do them next weekend. And uh, of course, Roy from Moving the Needle. And I don't think I've play, um, thanked That'll Play with uh, Matt and John in a while. So I want to make sure I'm gonna we stop give you them right a, there. a little shout out because I love those guys and I love their podcast. So. I'd like to shout at Roy also because he's awesome. Yeah. Shout at Roy. <laughs> Roy, moves, Roy moves my needle. Easy, Turbo. <laughs> and also, turbo. One, turbo. I'm a balloon. Right. And a wombat. No, you're the fuzzy no, wombat. No, I don't want to be the wombat. Let's just drop that. Okay. So, and of course, once again, thanking Grant, who's awesome, and Jason from Seven Days a Geek, who's also awesome. You guys check out their podcast. Oh, we might be uh, podcasting with uh, Podcasting Jason. 101 tomorrow. Yeah, I tomorrow. think we'll be on Podcasters 101. Podcasting so 101. Podcasting 101. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I said, Jason. And if we're not, then uh, don't pretend he didn't hear this part. <laughs> and of course, our ultimate supporter, Heno, and uh, his new podcast, Angela's Awesome. Um, as, He's more than a supporter. He's one of my best friends. I know, but yeah, I just okay. want to mention it. And I was going to uh, also say, uh, Hannah, when you asked for uh, um, uh, new pod recommendations, I keep thinking of these ones to mention it. And I don't know if you've checked out uh, 40 going on 14, but you should. And uh, I think that one's really fun. Yeah. It's, so to I, all I the that... other podcasts uh, and podcasters that we love and we're not suggesting you to Heno, it's not because we don't think your podcast is awesome. It's just because <laughs> we thought we'd single out one. No, I try, I try to think of ones that I think Hannah would enjoy. I, I will refrain from doing so because I would probably say some inappropriate podcasts, of which maybe he doesn't want going out over the podcast there. <laughs> so. I don't think he would mind. <laughs> uh, still, he anyway. may not, but you know. But um, So those are my thank yous for this week. Good. There you go. Well, thank you very much for listening to episode 32 of the Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks podcast. Woo-hoo. We are the Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, as are you all. <laughs> Please go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com, and it links to everything. Our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitters. Our voicemail number is there, which is 774-DAPF. Son of a cow face. What? I was supposed to put the voicemail program together this past week, so mm. I have to do it this week. But we weren't going to release it for right. a couple weeks anyway. So, uh, Might be we'll, a holiday bonus. 774-DAPF-713. That's the number. Call it. Also would like to say that I am very privileged to be on a uh, Gotham TV show fan cast podcast thing called Gotham Nights. <laughs> and you can check us out on Twitter at uh, at the number B. No, the letter B, the number four, the bat and uh, Gotham Nights. So, yeah, we're on that's on Stitcher and all that. And, uh, whatever. Um, we're also part of Musings of a Geek Network. Please go to musingsofageek.com as well as tangentboundnetwork.com, podgodsnetwork.com, and couchpotatonation.com. I will say that um, all of these networks, if you're a podcast and you'd like to get more of your podcasting out there and to meet other like-minded individuals that will help pimp your podcast and help you with stuff and maybe grow your podcast – Find a good network with some cool podcasts because it it's a lot of fun and you meet some really great people and uh, it's worth it. And these these uh, have been awesome networks to work with. I'm very happy to be a part of them. And you can always find us on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Blueberry. All, we're everywhere. We're just there. You just go however you <laughs> find your podcast or however a friend finds the podcast. Awesome. Once again, thank you to everyone who's been leaving feedback. That's really cool. However... By no means necessary. We just think it's awesome that you listen to us. And you can hear us on a number, a plethora, if you will, <laughs> of nice internet. Uh, state. Do you want to do some of this? Because it's no, like, no, no. We'll what? go. Oh, this is. You're on a roll. You're on a roll. Of internet stations. So uh, sparkradio.us, Mondays at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time and Fridays oh. at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. Radiofubar.com. <laughs> Uh, Tuesdays, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, GeekLifeRadio.com, Wednesdays at 1.30 p.m. And uh, the TheRadioResistance.WebNode.com, Wednesdays uh, around 5 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let me also say this to people who enjoy podcasts or are podcasters. Go check out some of these stations because you'll find some really cool freaking podcasts and you just like play it at your desk or on your Walkman or your disc man, <laughs> whatever you play it on. 
and uh, you'll find some really cool podcasts. And if you are a podcast looking to, you know, maybe get heard by some other people, freaking apply to some of these radio stations. Get after it. Do it. <laughs> Pimp your shit. Pimp your shit. <laughs> There's As a t-shirt, Amy. The furry beaver says. <laughs> so I would like to uh, also take this time mm. to thank everybody. <laughs> I just go. thank everybody. There you go. Blanket and, statement. Right. And all the podcasts that we are affiliated with and listen to, you can find them all at whatever their Twitter handles are on Twitter. So <laughs> search those. Uh, you can usually find them all at some website, either .com or .com info or dot whatever oh oh crap so uh yeah i don't think i got anything else is there anything I, else I'm, I think we're good. I'm glad i have this because now i, I don't know. forget everything right that's awesome do you have any final Very thoughts good cheat sheet, sir any final thoughts i am good Let's did go you learn pizza. anything exciting this weekend week oh um i don't know if i learned anything plan ahead for a ride maybe that would seem to work out fine. <laughs> Although not planning ahead for a ride worked out just fine. But you never know. You never know. Hmm. I learned that I really like cheesy shows on TV like the searching for Bigfoot. There was stuff. a lot of searching for Bigfoot. Yes. <laughs> Squatch. Squatch Wranglers. I ate too much candy corn. I I'm going to go wrangle a Squatch. <laughs> okay. With that, I am, oh, I'm on Twitter. Are you on Twitter? I am. What's I am Wire Tech Girl on Twitter. You're at Wire Tech Girl. At Wire Tech Girl. I don't know why I always say that because I would think most people that use most the people Twitter know that. Yeah. will know it's the at. The Twitters. I am <laughs> at Angels Freak 7. Yes. Not because there were six more before me. No. Because of Bubba. There was not. Bubba who's got his nose in your angry beaver. Nope. Okay, everybody. Angry. Enjoy your week. <laughs> See ya. Thank we'll you. We'll be back at you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. You are now leading the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends.